Hi there. I uh, didn't uh, manage to uh, do a direct upload, so I'll just make a short video here. I wanted to make a point about Wall Street. I got uh, as as a backdrop to uh, to talk by. You know, I have my Climate Babe website where you can vote on the hottest babe uh, that is uh, around on Wall Street. If you have a picture that you don't see in this competition, I really invite you to send it uh, to info at climatebabes.com. Not the picture itself, but a link to it. Then I can include it if you want to uh, put yourself in this competition. You're also free to uh, to upload a picture and send me a link to info at climatebabes.com. Uh, there's no price, but uh, it uh, draws attention. And I think, uh, you know... See, let's go to the to the to the actual competition. Um, number one right now is uh, Max Kaiser with uh, the girlfriend of uh, Sean Lennon. Uh, and then we have uh, the, the the body painted uh, girl uh, on Wall Street, of course. And uh, who can resist that uh, attractiveness? And here is a very decent looking girl out of a photo series that was full of uh, very nice, decent people. That's of course because the whole Wall Street movement is simply about decent people wanting to have a decent management of their, of their, of their country. It's Wall Street basically became a part of government or their, their, their actions became so influential that it's, it basically puts a mark on the whole of society. And it's a bad mark. You really don't want to have that. There's many thoughts about how to go about fixing the problem. Naomi Klein uh, was also there, and uh, she writes about it and she she talks about it. And of course, she uh, she she basically be, has been warning warning uh, for uh, for fascism and uh, and those type of troubles. Troubles. Uh, I thought she was a little bit too literary about it, too uh, too abstract. But there's actually something that you can do if you're really not ready to go up into the street, or out into the street. To go fight uh, like an anarchist or something like that, uh, and that's because it's really not about that. It's about it's about uh, knowing what goes on and who makes the decisions. And uh, the big uh, solution for that problem, you know, if you want to know where the money goes and you want to know who spends it and why, uh, then uh, then transparency is the solution. It's not really uh, protesting or blowing up stuff or something like that. Um, and transparency is very easy to achieve. You simply have to have many eyes looking at it and reporting it in a way that you can use the information. One person that already did that uh, and actually is uh, experienced with Wall Street, so it should be a good person to, uh, to outline that, that, that idea, is uh, Catherine Austin Fitz. She has a website here. It's called uh, solari.com. You probably know it. And uh, I'm not sure what she talks about these days. Uh, it's It's... I think uh, very zeitgeist unproductive to talk about the problem all the time, but in the past she definitely has had a solution. She definitely has had. Uh, uh, she made a database where she uh, where you could find how your state uh, spent uh, the money that it got allocated uh, from the government. I believe from from federal government. Then such such a database would be really a solution uh, to allow people to uh, to uh, to know. Uh, you know which politician takes money from which, uh, let's say, company. Uh, okay, what stock are they invested in? I personally would be in favor of a law that says, well, you can make money as a as, as a governor or somebody in Congress, but it's not about money. It's not about getting rich. So you have to uh, basically uh, remove yourself from that whole process, and uh, and uh, simply have a simple wage, annual wage, and that's it. You get nothing more than that, and it can be a reasonable one, but it's certainly not, uh, I think, uh, at all uh, uh, good or uh, logical that a person that, that is in government can uh, use inside information on the, on the stock market without any, uh, any uh, negative results. That's, that's ridiculous. He is a very brave girl. She's being removed. I'm not sure where, but... Uh, Seems to be in England, but I might be mistaken. And uh, this is actually uh, Sean Lennon with the same girl as was on the arm of Max Kaiser. I don't uh, personally. <laughs> so he he sang a song and Wall Street. And here you see something that I really don't like about the whole thing, uh, or maybe not in this video, but it's like okay, we're artists, we're gonna be cool now.
you know, this is really not a, <laughs> this is really not what it's about. It's not about repeating after uh, somebody uh, all kinds of nonsense. That's wrong. It's about solutions. It's about fixing it. I think, um, you know, I'll try to find more information about what Catherine Olsen Fitz did uh, about the transparency. And transparency, everybody can do that. Everybody can understand what it means. And everybody can demand it. We have had the same thing go on in our own country, where our government was asked to, um, to uh, well, give information on what they spent their money on. And the only problem with that is that you can then uh, uh, bicker endlessly about what the money was spent on by the individuals. So you have to make a rule that says, well, you know, it has to be more than a million dollars spent on something, and then it becomes a problem and it becomes an issue that you can talk about. Otherwise, it's uh, it's uh, probably ridiculous and idiotic, but it's not that important to 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 uh, enough people to make an issue out of it in the public. So uh, that would be a rule or something. But uh, I try to find more information about it, and I'll put it uh, in, in the link below this uh, video. And I hope you uh, come to the website Climate Babes and vote on uh, your hottest babe on Wall Street, uh, because uh, well, I think it's just fun. Thanks very much.